I got a package and I thought you all might be interested in what's inside of it. It is a micro spot welder for putting together things like uh, welding together batteries, such like that. So I will spread it all out and we'll take a look at it. Let's run through the parts list. Um, they gave me two wires over here, which I believe are for the battery. Uh, they gave me these two wires that have the probes, which are the actual spot welding tips. We have some shrink wrap. We have a capacitor, which from what I've seen on pictures on the internet goes right here. And a sounder, which goes right here. This circuit board, uh, four copper connectors and some stainless screws and a bit of nickel. This is the stuff you weld between the batteries. Um, how do I know that what these are actually copper? Well, this is a magnet, you can see. There's the magnet and it doesn't stick to anything except the nickel. Okay, so that is the, uh, the parts list. So I guess the next thing to do is go assemble it and see what happens. The circuit board only has two components that you have to solder on. One's this capacitor and it's got a minus stripe on it. There's a minus and plus on the circuit board to help you orient it. The other piece is a little trickier. It's this sounder over here and it has a sticker on it and there's nonsense printed on it here, but there's a plus sign. And that plus sign tells you the orientation of this thing. There's a plus and minus on the board. But without that sticker, uh, this piece had no other orientation mark on it, no plus and minus on it. So do not remove the sticker until the board is assembled and working. Okay, so those are the two pieces for the board. Let's look at each of the other components and see how those are put together. These are the probes and in my kit they came assembled, but uh, if you watch any of my videos you know I solder everything. And in this case it's probably not a bad idea because even though it's low voltage it's very high current and any kind of resistance is uh, going to cause heating and other problems. Okay, so these are assembled and then all I have left to do is put the shrink wrap on the probes and again this was supplied. These are the cables that connect the battery to the circuit board and they do require assembly. You get the ends and you get the wire. And so I crimped them and soldered them in place. Um, and that's pretty much it for these. This one is marked out minus. It goes to the negative probe. Uh, this is actually in plus and out plus. So this goes to the battery and to the positive probe this way. This side, let me bring these in. These are the battery connections and of course this is the negative battery connection and this is the positive battery connection. Here's an assembly tip. Uh, I've got these connectors such that the collar uh, will block this from moving. It's The collar will run into the circuit board. Same with this one. I found that this one will actually go all the way over and touch the contact on the uh, on the capacitor. So if this came loose that would be a bad thing. And then the same with this one. This one can't move. Uh, it's flipped uh, this way and then this one is on this side. And I just did this again to make sure that if they came loose they would not uh, be able to rotate easily and touch other components. Let's finalize our assembly by doing a smoke test on this and then I'll make another video of where I hook it up to a serious battery and actually do some welding with it. But it's not good to start out with that. We need to test it with a lower amperage thing to make sure that we don't uh, set something on fire, burn something up, make sure this is working right. Okay, so I will snap on my power supply. And so we get a little chirp out of it. Um, now, if you push this for 1.5 seconds, it's supposed to go into the first mode, which is like a chirp, chirp push it again, it goes into like three chirps, uh, push it again, I think it's five chirps, and then you push it again, it goes into the red mode, which I'll show up in this little light right here. And I believe that's an on-demand. Um, I am having trouble finding the instructions or anything that is uh, authoritative advice on this. Okay, so let's give it a shot. Okay, that's right. Push and hold. And that's right. Okay, and that looks
folks, right? Um, one of the things you're not supposed to do, I read, is use capacitors. I was going to do that. That's, that was my plan for this video, was to hook it up to a bank of capacitors. It said don't do that. My guess is the capacitors discharge too quickly and would, uh, would uh, burn through these uh, ICs. So yeah, uh, best laid plans of mice and men. Okay, and then this is the red mode, so this is all correct. Everything looks like it's wired up and, and uh, working correctly. So again, I'll have to go out and uh, get a battery. We'll hook it up and then we'll do some uh, real spot welding. That's it for the assembly of this micro spot welder. I hope you found it useful and interesting in your home, DIY electronics, and other projects.